All right, we move on to a story we would have loved to get to uh, last Friday, but we had so much going on we didn't get to, and that news was kind of late breaking. So we have the Deshaun Watson story, which, uh, as you heard Friday, that he will he will not be criminally charged in the um, the police investigation that was followed the twenty two women who accused him of uh, harassment and sexual assault. Uh, Twelve person grand jury declining to uh, indict him on. Prosecutors presented nine cases and the jury rejected them all. So take that for what you will. Anyway, since then, obviously, the trade rumors have been swirling. We've had, it seems like, a quarter of the NFL, perhaps even more teams have been uh, in on Deshaun Watson. He's apparently got some sort of list. Uh, USA Today has, says his list is about the is like top three are the uh, Panthers, Saints, and Browns. Of course, plenty of other teams, um, as I said, would like to get in on the action. Drink, what do you think? Um, what do you think the best the best spot is for him, and where do you think he'll ultimately land? Well, damn sure ain't the Houston Texans. But before I get into that, let me let me just um, I guess chime in on on what you said about the actual like case itself a little bit. So you had twenty two women. Now you remember when this case first happened? You had women just every day, two, three. Five, you know, and it was kind of crazy because I remember we was talking about it. We did we did a segment on it, and we was just like, "Man, this is just odd for all these women to come out like, really, this dude was wreaking havoc like this in in the great city of Houston in Texas, and nobody nobody knew about this. Nobody knew. Like he was just out here sexual harassing and sexual assaulting massage therapists up and down Houston." And nobody knew about it. So I remember we was talking about it. It was like, man, this is kind of odd. What happened? Oh, he signed that contract, and then he didn't want to play there no more. Oh, okay. Then you're like, hmm, they wouldn't do that, would it? Mm, I don't know. Houston ownership is pretty shady. Okay, cool. Fast forward to now. So 22 women filed a case against him. But only nine of them was actually like, uh, progressed to criminal like complaints or whatever like so and then of the nine cases they go to grand jury and the grand jury throw out all nine so i want to backtrack to something that you said on twitter or maybe did you say don't no, i don't think you said it on twitter i think i read something on twitter and then you responded to me in person but so that's a season that Deshaun Watson never going to get back. The one thing you never get back is time. So that's a season that he never going to get back. Now, he stayed relevant. I think that was on my Twitter. Oh, okay, okay. I, so much be going on, I don't be remember what. But um, and the, the, that resonated to me, as you can see, because I was like, damn, man, that something we don't get back is time. That's very true. And he'll never get that back. Not only that. You're still going to have people like, well, something must have happened where that smoke is always fire. So, you know, something had to happen. Like, it, not everybody was lying. They didn't just pull this out of thin air. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. But it, it goes to say, and I, I for the punt, for the, you know, the other side of the table, I know they're going to be like, well, if you pay good money for a lawyer, you're supposed to get the case thrown out. Did he really get the case thrown out? It seems like he did exactly what anybody else in this situation would have to go through. You go through a grand jury. And, I, and remember, Jay, I said this. I said I wish they would have um, kind of outed the, the, the women that was testifying because I just felt like it was something funny about this. I, I don't, I don't want to be the guy that say, oh, she's lying about sexual assault because I know how serious that can get. Oh, she's lying about sexual harassment. I know how, how they can get, but I did say it's only fair that if Deshaun Washington ain't going to get drugged through the mud and all this, how come the victims like or, 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 or the accusers, they name should be out here too, just in case they might be over, you know, saturating the situation here. And then come to find out when they do, when, when the rubber does meet the, the road with the grand jury and they do have to like plead their cases in front of, a 12-person grand jury, oh, all of a sudden, all nine cases get dropped. So I think it was something to what I was saying back in the day, like, 
if 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 I think if those women that was complaining, if they had got brought out earlier, I don't know if this case would have got this far, to be honest with you. But it did. Now we're here. It is what it is. Deshaun Watson, one step closer to being, you know, exonerated, fully free. He did mention that um, he still got some things to do, but today was a big day. So, okay, I'm happy for that. Now, to the football news. Um, Here's the deal. Uh, it seems to me that the Deshaun Watson was kind of zoned in on teams that was lacking a starting quarterback. And the funny thing is he got the Browns there, so he must really feel like they still lacking a quarterback. So take that for what it's worth. Um, but <laughs> but we, I, I would say this for the Browns, right? Listen, he's smart enough to know if he can get to Cleveland, they have everything they need <laughs> but a quarterback. So he's like, I would buy going to Cleveland. I think the Panthers make sense. Listen, the Panthers ain't got a quarterback on that roster that can hold his cleats. Let's just keep it real. So I think, you know, the, I like the Carolina Panthers. The Saints, I mean, they do got Jameis Winston, um, but, you know, I, I'm assuming that the Saints just kind of like, yeah. I mean, he cool, but if we can get Deshaun Watson, you know, we're going to ship him out right quick too. Um, so I, I'm not mad at that. And then, you know, the Vikings, the Eagles, the Seahawks, and the Falcons was also rumored. The, the, the funny thing is the Seahawks don't need to be rumored. The Seahawks need to really be making a move here. I mean, you just got rid of one guy that carried your franchise for the last 10 years. Get, get you a, another guy that can, might make it happen. The, I know the Eagles kind of, you know, they kind of in and out on um, Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles need to just sit down somewhere. It's always something with them. Like, can can you can we get a little stability here? If it ain't a head coach in the rotating door, here come the quarterbacks in the rotating door. Just sit down somewhere. Like you just made the playoffs. <laughs> like, like, golly, show some gratitude. Be a little appreciative of what you got going on. You know, the Vikings, I get it. Kirk Cousins, people are tired of Kirk Cousins and his act. Um, but I, I don't know if bringing in a new quarterback is really w what you want to do when you're bringing in a new head coach. I got it. He's a head coach. He won't be co – like, I get that, but he's an offense coordinator. So, I mean, the quarterback matters. You don't think he'll rather play with Deshaun Watson than um, Kirk Cousins? I think so. However, I can also understand, hey, they got a quarterback, leave that alone. And the Falcons, you, you know what would be interesting with the Falcons? So they they would most likely trade. They would trade Sean Watson to the Falcons and then trade Matt Ryan to the Texans. That would be interesting for the Texans because then what would they do? Like, we got Matt Ryan. We got to kind of play him, but yep. we got Davis Mills over here that kind of looked like he could be something in today's NFL. I thought, I thought that would be very interesting. But either way, man, to be honest with you, I don't see him wearing the Texans jersey again unless it's at practice. I don't see him starting a game for the Texans this year, but it's I, it's so fluent, and I'm pretty sure what the Texans are gonna, what the Texans brass is gonna do is ask for so much egregiousness because you know <laughs> Bill O'Brien gone, so you ain't getting people for a second round pick. So they're gonna ask for so much that it's gonna be kind of hard to trade for Deshaun Watson. But I think though though, but between those seven teams, well. I'm going to take the Browns out. I think the Browns is going to, like, live on with um, Baker Mayfield. I'm going to take the Vikings out, too. But I think the other the other five teams got, got a good shot. And I think, you know, if I had to put it in a pecking order, I would probably go with it. I would go with the Panthers, number one. They definitely need a quarterback. Um, and then I'll probably, you know, go to Seahawks. I think they could really use a quarterback. And then my third team would be probably the Saints. And then the Vikings and then the Eagles. Probably my top five landing spots. So maybe he played for he 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 ended up being the starting quarterback for one of those five teams, but it damn show sure won't be for the Houston Texans. I think he's done now. He should be done now after everything that had happened. I would not step on the field again for the Houston Texans if I was Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I think the just to start off where you started off, uh, I think the one of the most 
it's just been one of the most odd stories from the start where it started with like one woman and then two and then four and then eight and then just just balloon just out of control i mean this is like this is like the the cope this is like covid spread this is it's it's you got it all right everybody get tested now everybody got it you know what i'm saying so right uh because i remember because I, I do remember we had several several discussions on this topic where we like eh, it's so good but then the more and more that it seemed to like blow up we was like well uh i guess we'll go ahead and do the whole uh the homer simpson meme and just back up here into the woods because we're in the bushes i mean it's just <laughs> I, yeah because we we simply the problem is we simply just and we still don't for that matter we just don't know enough of you know the actual the facts of you know we don't know what went on in that courtroom and you know for the record even though the 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 criminal stage of this has seemingly passed and that's obviously great for Deshaun Watson um I don't think anything has been settled from a civil perspective so you still have that to to contend with but um you know from the uh and I and by the way to that point about it, that that's definitely a fine line. Like I would, be, it's hard. It's really hard to imagine that this is a full twenty-two person hit job to where everybody's just ganging up on Deshaun Watson. Oh. If I had, if I had to take a guess at what this was, this was like Deshaun Watson may have like been in a gray area at some point, and then you know you got one woman who's pissed off, and then all of a sudden I don't and I don't know like the Texan. You you lay it out well, and it does. It does have a conspiracy type feel to it, but I mean, he signs a contract, which was a mistake, by the way. I told I told you when DeAndre Hopkins got traded, I said, you "Don't sign with this team; they don't have your best interest in mind." He signed it anyway, and then he figures it out. Wait a minute, I don't need to be here. I'm not going to do anything. And then I don't know. So, man, I think just just the, the Texans organization they. They're not a good look right now. And when they trade Deshaun Watson, they might as well, you know, you go back 20 years, they based an expansion team again, all the way back to square one. So, <clears throat> but to the to the possible destinations, I think his top three is probably about, about what I'd have the top three to be. I think um, if I had to guess where I think he'll end up, I think, I think Carolina, and I think Carolina can – you know, especially from what they can give up. They got, I mean, they got a guy who they're taking calls on right now, Christian McCaffrey. And I think, I think that's a trade you make to get to John Watson. I think you give up Christian McCaffrey because as you well know, running backs are a lot easier to find than quarterbacks. And you, you, and the Panthers likely will not find a running back as good as Christian McCaffrey, but you can find a running back that can just, you know, do, do the basics. And you can, I mean, the 49ers, they get away with it every year from every round, seemingly. It doesn't matter. Under, hey, man, we saw you on the street. You look like you run. Come on in. So they, they can, I think they can give up Christian McCaffrey. I think that'd be very attractive for Houston. They signed that, that running back room that they had last year with uh, David Johnson, Philip Lindsay, and Mark Ingram. I mean, it's just a joke what they were doing. So, I mean, Which is, maybe that's kind of odd, though. That's, that is kind of odd, though. Let, let's. If you name those three names, right, you would think, like, they, they're going to get something cooking with that three-man rotation, right? Those, those are guys, at you one point, they, they've they been all pro running backs. You know what I'm saying? At one but point, just, all three of those but guys. We, but, we, but we did know that team was just terrible. And you don't yeah, have they, a quarterback. Yeah. Your offense is You don't got a back. coach. You, you know, your GM just woke up. You know, <laughs> know what's happening so i mean ha- look have at least get in that position straight and like you say maybe they have some in davis mills i mean he showed he showed something in his rookie mm-hmm. season so mm-hmm. and we know the quarterback class this year ain't looking too great so if i had to guess i think um i think carolina is where he'll end up but i think uh i don't I, obviously i'm not that confident in that because I don't I also say Deshaun Watson went to college at Clemson so he's got some Carolina connections I think he's from the Carolina so you also have that in play I think, uh, if I, but if I had to pick the my bad not true, I, I think okay. he might be from Georgia but okay there's need to hear okay, there. at least no. the region yeah I didn't know that for a fact I'm just spitballing but anyway 
if I had to, if I think the best spot is as, as in like what like what team is most ready to win now, I'd have to I'd have to say the Browns. And I mean, the, look, you look at what the Browns have done so far. Trading for Cooper, I think they they signed Allen Robinson too, if I'm not mistaken. So um, we know about Nick Chubb. We know about Kareem Hunt. We know about the offensive line. You got some foundational playmakers on defense. I mean, we've said this the past couple of seasons, um, and especially last season, uh, Baker Mayfield holding this team back. Yep. And, um, I mean, so, and the thing about, if you look at what they did at wide receiver, you can't say, hey, man, we, we got him two wide receivers. We're ready to go now. You just had two wide receivers. You just traded Landry, or you just released Landry, and you traded Odell. So, I mean, is there that much big of a difference between Al Robinson and Mari Cooper? I, th- I think they're a little bit better, but if Baker Mayfield can't make it work with those two, he, they ain't getting it done with these two guys. I mean, it's just not. So I think the Browns are the best are the best spot. I think the Saint, he'd work well with the Saints too, but the Saints, he, I think he'd have to do more um, by himself because, you know, unless we see Michael Thomas come out here and dominate, we know that wide receiving room is just not impressive. So, I think I think he'll end up at Carolina, but I think the I think the team that could that he would most be able to impact and take to the next level is Cleveland. 